what's up everybody well today's video is a little different we're going back to a car video instead of rc video but i think this is going to be worth it now later on not probably not this video obviously we're going to yank off that carburetor get my new intake all that stuff on there new valve covers chrome aluminum intake four barrel carburetor all that air conditioner is coming out which i should try to fix it first to charge it but anyway we're going to clean it up on here it's going to look good but that ain't today's video today we're getting ready to take this to the muffler shop and i'm putting new dual exhaust from the motor back all the way out i'm going with i've styled about three inch pipe but i don't have that much power so probably two and a half inch pipe with dual flow masters tail pipes all the way out the back with some chrome tips uh, my uncle plays golf with the man, and he gave him a good price. Still not cheap, but, but cheaper than mostly anywhere else. So that's what we're doing right now. We're getting ready to drag it up there. So I might as well let you hear what it sounds like first again. It does not have anything on it right now but a Y-pipe and a catalytic converter. That's it. And it's still not that loud. It sounds like it idling, but when you drive down the road... You can barely hear it running. I don't like it. I, don't, I want some sound coming out of it. Now, it doesn't have no extra power or nothing yet. But when I add the exhaust, dual exhaust alone will give me about 20 more horsepower on an old school car. I'll get headers later. I wish I had the headers now, but I don't. When I put my carburetor and intake on here, that will give me another 50 horsepower probably. So we're looking at an extra 70 horsepower by the time I'm done with this little project, the exhaust and the intake. And plus it's gonna look way better under the hood. So all right, before we take it up for dual exhaust, I got a starter wire I think's loose because the other day it just started, it wouldn't do nothing. A jig old wire going to starter and it fires right up. I'm out of breath. So today, before we leave, I was about ready to go, and I was like, well, I better just make sure it's tight. I don't want to get it up there in the parking lot, and then they can't start the car. So, let me get my tools, double check everything real fast. Back in my day, when we was growing up, that's how the back used to sit. We didn't have that low, drop-down, cool stance. We, we jacked our shit up, man, so they'd roast the tires. So, all right, I got her tightened up, I think. I love my Dewalt toolkit. That has been the best little socket set. I broke the ratchet, but that was my fault. I put a six foot breaker bar on it, trying to break a bolt loose and broke the end off. So this is one, it's not even my craftsman. This is just some, some oddball that I had to throw in here because I broke the other. But again, it wouldn't have broke on regular use just because of what I did. But Dewalt, yeah, baby. So let me get this lower down, make sure she still starts, and then we're out of here. All right, we lowered her down. Let's see if it'll fire right up or if it's going to click. Please don't give me no problems. I want my dual exhaust. All right. Good deal. Heading to the muffler shop. Let's go. One day later. All right, y'all. We're getting ready to pull up at Bob's Muffler here in a minute and get my Malibu. And she's sitting right there, sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Can't see the pipe because that freaking Corvette pulled right there, right in time to block my view. See my new pipes. <laughs> All right, yeah, they looking good too. I see them pipes sticking out the back. Look at there, got some chrome tips on them. Oh yeah, looking good. We got my car back from the muffler shop today, earlier today. I've been had an adventurous day. And then took my stepson to work in it so I can run it a little bit. And then I got pulled over in it. So everything's good though, no big deal. This will be going on it soon. Because right now when you pop the hood, it's just a cluttered up stock mess of a two barrel carburetor with uh, air conditioner bits and everything. I don't know if it even would work if I put a belt on it and charged it or whatever. 
don't even know if I want to try because I'd rather it look look better under the hood myself. So I'm a little more motivated now. I need to get to doing some body work. Um, sand on the top, get it ready. Put a little wax on the paint that is good. Stuff like that. And all the places under the hood where the original color is showing because the car used to be like a bronze. But they did not do a good job at taping. It's like a Mako special from back in the day, I'm imagining. So, I'm going to paint all the stuff under the hood. Excuse me. Black. Stuff like that. Anywho, uh, who cares about that, right? Y'all Y'all clicked on here because I got new exhaust, right? Now... So I had to stop for a second so I could cover my license plate this time. My wife's always complaining about me not covering my tags. But anyway, as you can see there, let me show you what I think is the best looking view of it all. Check this baby out. This is what I was hoping for. Although the two and a half inch pipe, I should have probably went with three inch. But, well crap, you can't really see it right now. Oh, sure you can. She's looking good. I love them Flowmasters. Oh, yeah. Now, Bob's Muffler here in Marmac, I believe. Or, I don't know if it's a Marmac address or what, Goldsboro. But anyway, Bob's Muffler, man, they do some precision, clean work. I love it. Let me show you over here underneath the side, I suppose. Really, I can't tell what it looks like, so I'm going to point this up, and I'm going to just try to get me a shot of it using my gimbal. Hey, from what I can see, I'm happy. I'm very happy with it. And as you can tell, the car is solid underneath. Needs cleaned up a little bit, but she's solid. So, well, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys later. Now, I know you guys want to hear it. Hmm. We'll see how she sounds back here. I got this thing. Let's see what's up. Let's go ahead and see if she'll fire right up. How'd that sound? I don't know. Sounds good to me. You know what it sounds like, though. I'm going to be honest. It sounds like it needs more power now. You know. The car does not have much pep in its step. It does have a good old stock 350. The motor runs fine. Hell, I guess I'll watch the video see how much smoke comes out. I really never paid attention. I'm sure it probably does a little bit, but not a bad smoke or nothing. The biggest issue with it right now is it's got the stock two barrel carburetor. I've never tried to tune it out, clean it up, or do anything since I got the car running because of the fact that I have the four barrel intake and carburetor to go on it over there. My plans have been to put that on here since I got it. So if I was to fix that carburetor and it started to just really scream, I wouldn't want to change to the, the nice pretty one. So. Again, body work, all that stuff, we will get that in order. Um, I finally found the window pieces I need to trim. I just don't have the money for the stuff, to be honest. It's like just under 200 bucks, and you'll get both sides inside and out. Which I suppose it wouldn't hurt to get the inside. The insides are good here. At least on this one, both sides. I, I really only need one outside. 
well, I probably need both. I'd imagine the other one's rotted. Plus, it's rusty. I'd rather get one that ain't. Yeah, I'd rather just replace this. The inside ones are fine. Now that I'm looking at them, if I can find just the outside without having to pay as much, I'll do that. So, you know, a little sanding on the body up top. Underneath is really solid, so we're not worried about that. Again, uh, for 1976, what do you expect, right? This thing is the same age as me. So, and trust me, I don't run as good as this does still. Anyway, guys, I hope you didn't mind this video. I plan on doing a couple more videos coming soon. We're going to go ahead and get the inside of it looking a little better. We're going to get the outside looking better. We are definitely cleaning under that hood next. Even if... I'm not able to get my intake gaskets and stuff just yet. We can get rid of all the air conditioner, all the ugly stuff. Just clean everything and get it ready for the pretty stuff that I got sitting over here. And that exhaust will get louder as well. Those Flowmasters, after about a month of cooking, they'll sound really good. When I first put the Flowmasters on this truck, I was like, man, I quieted it down too much. And after about a month, it had the sound I was looking for. Just like this is going to... Putting this on my car, that will wake that exhaust up some too. And I need headers. So, if anyone wants to donate to the channel, let me know. I'll give you my email. You can ship over some PayPal money and we'll get that car donations rolling. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys. Please like, subscribe, share comment yes i know i'm an rc channel got a little mechanic stuff in here mainly just my own maintenance at home but that car is a project that's going to be on the channel and it's going to be a good one so stick around you get to see that as well as some cool rc stuff i appreciate all of you guys and we will catch you on the next one peace